able to let you in. So just kind of uh, sit back and let it. Are you yeah. offering some? Very calming. Thinking of that that sentence in your the paper that you wrote on the um, the ten states of mind when going through uh, I think six maybe there was a, a non dwelling on anything. Uh, that's kind of what it reminds me of. You're lucky. When we're not when we're not focused on something like a text, then it feels like that. Yeah, we're moving my fingers. That's yeah. all. <laughs> That answer from Brad, we were at wondering. I'm still waiting. What, what the effect is? Yeah, what effect has, has that? 
as going through some of the like get some of that flowing heat. I'm going to zoom it out. So uh, I was reflecting on that this yeah, morning. Yeah. Um, saying I understand the whole thing, but I do, uh, there are, yeah, it's, like, oh, okay. prior, like, when I study on my own, I just couldn't, I, I have no idea what the hell was going on, it was very unclear to me, yeah, I, I didn't get the call, so, good day, Jew, Hi. Hi. especially the ladder, hypothesis, like the I did get the money, Right now? Oh, so I don't need to waste the time. Unless you want to ask someone else. I just, I stopped <clears> because <throat> that was already an answer. But if it wasn't, I'm getting very heavy. Is it? Okay. That's the favorite kind. Could you pass that? Is he? <laughs> is, is that right? You're doing a survey? <laughs> yeah, would you summarize? Unless you're asking other people, anyone else? Well, uh, Bradley. Actually, I'd like to ask, ask Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> you do realize I just arrived. <laughs> I do deserve a certain, you know, like entry period. That's but a, ask story. away, my friend. <clears throat> yeah. An entry question. Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, what has uh, going through the communities the way that we've been doing it uh, done to you? Ah, well, luckily you ask a person who just has had some experience answering that question. Ooh. Boy. Jackpot. Well, because um, I, you know, Pierre asked that at the seminar, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't like my answer at all. And um, so I went to a quote. Well, I kept thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And um, finally, just maybe a week ago, I sent Pierre an email with a quote in it 
from the Tibetan Book of the Dead. And ready? This is heavy, okay? okay. <laughs> no, oh, it might be. Who knows? <laughs> I thought I might get you the actual quote as opposed to recalling it. It attaches to your blood supply. <clears throat> oh, you are being a plus budget. It's interesting. My computer, I'm going to have to take it in for a tune-up of some sort. Might be because I bounced it off the floor. Okay, just one second here. That was, well, Bradley was getting in this kind of a sitting posture. It looked to me. Maybe he always is. I have no idea. Hmm. Right. Good. Okay. Okay. Come on, buddy. Move it out of your way. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, there we go. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. What's it like being in the Parmenides Seminar? Or what's the effect of the Parmenides Seminar on you? Uh, it's like, quote, The Guru has set thee face to face with the clear light, and now thou art Sorry. experiencing it. Set you, set you face to face with the clear light. And now thou art experiencing it in its reality, wherein all things are like the void and cloudless sky, and the naked spotless intellect is like unto a transparent emptiness without circumference or center. At this moment know thou thyself and abide in this state." End quote. I continued, it's like this every day we meet. It says more of my answer later, a philosopher's luck with the pacemaker operation, by which you can date this. So, um, yeah, that, because I tried to, every, it, I was trying to, in the seminar, when that question was asked, I went right back into that state where you walk out of here, and it's like, everything is, is empty, in one way of speaking, right? And it seems like you're facing this bright, clear light. Not radiating like boy, oh, oh, boy, but and so that was a quote that <coughs> capture it for me. No, no. That's Isn't that so a nice she quote? She knows herself every morning. It's an instruction to know thou thyself, <coughs> isn't it? Did, did uh Eldar get to you? Did he ask you the same question? Well, he's doing a survey, <laughs> and he started with an answer. And I'm the ruling manager. <laughs> 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 he takes a big question. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Uh, what is that? Uh, <laughs> okay, we get into six. Or you want to say something? Yeah. <laughs> I hate him to do that. <coughs> Skip Regina and David, okay. Uh, give, me, give me a couple minutes. It's his, don't look at me, it's his oh, survey. Into the He's going to make a conclusion. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking, I, I thought it was, I think it's in um, an exercise. Uh, higher and more comfortable, higher than sitting at a zendo. Uh, and the exercise includes uh, 
uh, always reflections on myself. So I've seen myself grow. And if I can grow to this level, what's after this? Since I haven't understood the whole, I haven't understood the part of I understand in my standards. I can say I've understood to a degree, but it's not the level I want to understand. So I would say I'm clear, or focused, or enjoy it more. Yeah, go ahead. Are you thinking? No, it's not. I mean, it's not as it's not absent of problems. No. See, he's going to make a conclusion. How about David? Well, I don't know. It's up to him. He's doing the survey. Oh. Me? David? I don't know so much. It's the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Summary. The most important thing uh, that there is to do. Mm -hmm. All right, pretty heavy. So he's a researcher, he's practicing. <coughs> and seeing the self. Yes. That pretty much sums it up. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. All set? Yeah, I am. All set? Yeah, I am. Right, into the six. Got a problem in the first couple of paragraphs, do we not? Let's take a look. Very well. Mm -hmm. Surely then, after this, should we not consider what must be the result if the one is not? We must so consider. What then will be the hypothesis itself if one is not? And you guys are all following these itself is to check out when they are and when they are not. Mm -hmm. Autos and coming to your own conclusions. Okay, <laughs> good. Um, or not. Raising, sorry. Okay. What then will the hypothesis itself be if one is not? Will it then differ in any way from the following hypothesis if not one is not? Pierre. Yeah, well, in... On the one hand, to be is in some way present with it, if indeed it is one. But what else is to be than participation of Lucia with the present, past, and future? I'm confused about what this is doing here. So pretend I didn't say it. Go ahead, Dave. Uh, to be is in some way present. Okay. Um, if not one, is not. Um, if one is not, if not one. Yeah, the third different. Yeah. Um... So we're translating hypothesis itself, Altain would be itself in this paragraph, rather than what then will be the hypothesis self. You never know. Never know. Let's see. No, I just I just say because there's two two thousand five hundred years of people messing with the text in front of us. Well, yeah, that's that's and I always have that problem. That's yes. my first problem every yes, time that I look is. at a word. And especially since a good part of it used to be done orally. Yeah. But, you know, the text tradition, right. things get messed up. Right, the, the great scriptorians. One guy would get up and he'd be reading and the other guys were making copies. But he would voice it aloud. <laughs> He has to have damn good pronunciation, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the answer to that question is, uh, there is an A. Okay. Well, I like hypothesis self. Yeah, okay. Of the discussion of self. 
We're good. Will it merely differ? Or is the expre expression, if not one is, the, is not, entirely opposite to the hypothesis, if one is not? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's opposite. It's, it's a weird thing for me to get my head around. Mm. Parmenides, but there it is. <laughs> um, if not one is not. Uh, well, to say that if one is not means that there's a not one. But that's different from saying we're not talking about the not one. I don't know. That's what I do with it. Hey, that's... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, the denial of the one does not mean that it's a not one. Rather... That there's something called the one, which is non-extent. Extent, maybe. Extent? Well, or, extent is... Uh, Oh. Stretching out, right? oh. extant is existing. Okay. But pardon me. Well, okay. I I thought uh, he must mean thank extant. You. And I do appreciate that because I I try to sound as smart as I can. There you and, go. And you were sounding and, so smart. And and if I can improve that. <laughs> well, is that what you meant, though? Yes. Okay. What, what conclusion? Oh, come? sorry. I. Uh, one is he said one is not extant. Yeah. And since extant is this, mm -hmm. I presumed he meant extant, meaning mm. existent. Yeah. 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 And I was just checking with my friend to be sure. Which is, so many this group e's. could go either way. Because there's so many E's in existence, you get the two from Yeah. Why does it become an extant? Because it's a different group. Yeah. See, you know that. I don't know that. I'm just mm. a babbler. And what follows may confirm that restatement. Mm. Go ahead, try it. But what if anyone were to say, if greatness is not, or smallness is not, or anything else of this kind, then they should make it clear in each of the cases that they speak of the non-being as something other. Mm, different. That's very interesting. Uh, yeah. Oh no, just it takes me back to the discussion of different in the last hypothesis. Yes, well. And I saw that in this, these, these, these set paragraphs that he talks about, they should make it clear. It's not we should or we're going to or we will. And I haven't seen a they before. Well, it's actually not there here at all. Either. It's not here. Okay. Either. So it, it's okay. Is, it is clear. It, it, right? It okay. would be clear, it should be clear. And Lagoy is, it speaks, okay. he speaks, so they speak. That shouldn't be there. It's not That's good to know. Because that just puts a whole flavor on it if it's a they should. Yeah, it should be, I, you know, the first sentence starts out, what if anyone were to say? And that form is the same kind of form that's repeated exactly in the last line. But one line above it's, if anyone would make it clear, would you read it that way, Dan? Um, Deloy? I'm not sure. Um, because I'm not sure about Deloy whether it's an, one impersonal. of those impersonal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, then he should, well, he, she, it. Well, the reason I asked that or said that. I don't that even know what form that is. is. It's an optative, yeah. I'm pretty sure. You knew that, though. The reason I said that was because Socrates was given the challenge, or, or was given and said that some, one of the greatest difficulties is taking somebody through who doesn't, who doesn't, I don't have that quote, but it's that he doesn't want to, if he doesn't want to listen, or if he doesn't want to follow these ideas. Hmm. So if they don't see that there is a I absolute idea that mm -hmm. I like the idea of should in there. They mm -hmm. should make it right. clear. None of it's nominal. No, it's well, not there. It can be adjectival. Mm -hmm. oh, but probably isn't it. Um, they look, they like. <coughs> Causative. Okay. Right. So Intransitive. Intransitive. And personal. Wait a minute. Uh, it, 
then you could say it is clear in each place. Case. Mm -hmm. Or it should be, right? It, should, it would it, be. It would be clear uh -huh. in each or case. Will be. That or know. one should make it clear. It's also a possibility, right? Because mm -hmm. it could be. But the leg is also in the same case. Right. right. So that one should, one should speak. That mm. one speaks. One speaks. Mm. Let go away, though. Who it's going to be. The girl has no name. An optative in the. Sorry, that's in Game of Thrones. It's going to be an optative with Hati. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, optative is there. Uh, I, well, yeah. The, with with, le, with, uh, with Deloy, it could be yeah. optative, indicative, or subjunctive. Yeah, okay. okay. I didn't. Um, Deloy, young, yeah, okay. But um, the other thing that's interesting there, Pierre, it can be second person or third person, singular. So it could be, you should make it clear. But that doesn't make a lot of sense here. It's just an interesting possibility. Isn't and and you can see what I was p saying to David on the side. It can mean to make visible, to make known, to prove, right? To set forth. So, go ahead, David. I was going to change the subject. Ah. Isn't, isn't the point of this sentence that uh, that that which is not is a thing which is different, not a thing which is not, that they should make clear in each case they speak of, uh, uh, in, in each case that they speak of that which is not as something that's different, not as that which is uh, not, like the not one, the not one is different from the one is not. The one is not. Greatness is not. The one is not. It's di something different. But it's something. It and some kind of yeah, I think the T is the most important part there. That it's something. Could that... Anything. Well, something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because otherwise he hasn't made a... You know, is, is, some, is something different than... No, it can't be that. It's not what he's saying. It's not a, it's something different than... It's something that is different mm -hmm. and therefore it's something therefore we can speak of it and I'll bet you that's where it goes but I haven't looked at the next page so I'm waiting in suspense hmm. so what I like is uh, Aristotle's answer <clears throat> well, he gets it right which means these people must must have played with the idea of non-being quite a bit. And that's a damn interesting group of people. Like we were, Nancy and I were at the local pub last night drinking all night. And, and, yeah, and all the people there uh, were talking about non-being. Right. Yeah. And we were trying to figure out what they meant. I can verify it. I was there until three, <laughs> but these guys. <laughs> like, what do you think of that? Entirely so. That must mean that, hey, they dig that term, right? They're into it. Non-being, right? You say, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right on. Hey, yeah, I'm with you, sir. Yeah, Parmenides, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> We're going, uh, 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 do you mind going over that? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, the riddle was, I'm thinking of something which is not. What am I thinking of? Yeah. Mm. It's, it's different. Mm -hmm. right. Somebody would say nothing. No. You're not, I'm not thinking of nothing. I'm thinking of something which is not. Yeah. yeah there's something that is not. Yeah. How are you doing, Barbara? Ready? I'm doing okay. Ready I'm ready to go. I'm just thinking. Well, uh, to just, to, just to stay with David's point, therefore that's, that's going to try to show the necessity for what is. And that's the, sec and that's the, and that's the second mm. hypothesis. Oh. Right? The way you just expressed it dramatizes that we're actually coming off the second hypothesis. Hmm. Right? 
because when we think of something that is not we're still talking about the pop the, the the nature of existence yes there is something that is not okay. yeah Right. That's contrary to it. there is something that is. Mm -hmm. That's the second hypothesis. Mm -hmm. right. Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah. Well, you remember, a as you were driving away yesterday, you threw the comment out the window from the coffee shop and you said that we were going to have some fun seeing if we could demonstrate Proclus' mm -hmm. hypothesis that the negatives exist in order to show the absolute necessity of the positives one by one, right? Right, right. He said that as throwaway after our talk, you know. Right. It's not a negative. On something else. Oh. He's gonna to try to show that if you don't accept the second hypothesis, this is where you are at. Oh. And therefore if you see the terrible situation you will be after rejecting that, you will suddenly see, hopefully, that maybe there's some necessity for assuming the second hypothesis. That's what he means by a negative. Like, uh, so you don't think there's such a thing as the soul? Well, let's go through a little exploration. Well, let's see what would follow if there wasn't one and see whether you would say, well, that would be so disastrous, I'm going to have to assume there is one. Right. That's what he's doing. Beautiful, I want to see it. That, and that's the power of the Logos. Mm. Wow. What must have been like when this guy walked in a room? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this must, be a, must be a lot like Pierre, Pierre walking into the room. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <Right. laughs> Here. Could that be like the pathologos, which we think is is non-being, but exists in a certain kind of way? Since you added that last part, yes. So, no, but do you realize that by adding that? <laughs> Sorry. Right, because I was thinking while you were talking that on Friday night, when we see our path of logos, which we thought was real, we then get to see something other than that. That there is a higher or something better and more real. To be able to see that one's pathologos is not, it is something mm. that really is not, mm. is to be out of it. Mm. Oh, okay. So okay. That so wow. That wouldn't fit then. No, a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, okay. So you said, what would follow if one would try to show the non-existence of the cell, and to, show, to do that would show such absurdity that one would have to conclude that there is a self. I just, because yeah. I don't have my team yeah. recorder on. Yeah. Okay. You'd have to show my It's God. still hard to get my head around that. Yeah, like Because yeah. I'm, not, I'm not real smart. And, and <laughs> <laughs> no, when, when, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> when I can't get something like this, I don't feel very smart. Okay, that's one of his jokes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. okay. But I don't. I'm very unique in that. None of this ever. Pardon me. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll retract that statement until I can prove it. No, I'm not going to prove it. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Oh, uh, it goes on uh, entirely so. Yes. Uh, all right. Why am I? Okay. Is it not the case then that now they also make it clear? Again, it's it's that same. Um, there. I'm just trying to figure out how to translate that. Okay, is it not the case then that um, it should be made clear what they mean when they say, if one is not, that the non-being is other from the others, is different from the others, so we will know that which they mean. 
Let me try that again. I'll just go read it as it is. Is it not the case then that now they also make it clear what they mean when they say, if one is not, that the non-being is different from the others, so we will know that which they mean. That's a gigantically beautiful sentence. Hmm. Because, I don't know, can we ask you, because... Were you making some point? I... No. Oh, okay. You just said it was a beautiful s sentence, and I was saying, yeah, and it, because. Does he mean the non being thing, or just the non being? Told me, told me on. Yeah, but that he's not. It could be the non being thing. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, I didn't mean to interrupt. That. No, I was, like, I was asking you. What, what he finds beautiful in it. Oh, what do you find beautiful? Why is he? Why does he go back to one is not instead of not one is not? There. Anything at this point. Because otherwise it's, we're talking about not being and not the one that is not or different that is not. Or whatever it is we're talking about that is not. He's changed the subject. So I just want to so you agree with me? Yeah. Oh, so so oh, this, this is no, no worse translation instead of the non being that which is not. It's really no worse of a translation. I think we are, you're right. Okay. Sorry, David's making a really good point, mm -hmm. which I think he should make to the group. Yeah. Okay, I was just trying to get clarity. Uh, if one is not that the non being is something other from the others, it's the latest translation. Um, I just felt oh. that if one okay. is not, that the non-being is something different. Oh, I see. That's your translation. Uh, I was just adding different. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. And you were saying something but, different. But, but what I'm trying to improve is that the non-being is something different. Um, what they also make when they say, if one is not, that the thing which they're referring to is not, rather than non-being. Yeah. And because otherwise it looks like he's changed the subject. Yeah. And he's talking about, it looks just, I, I think non-being is different than talking about the one which is not, or any, or different which is not, or unlikeness which yeah. is not, which he uses examples. He's saying no, it's, it's not that it's non-being, it's and so the, an alternative translation is the former volume. If one is not, that that which mm -hmm. is not is something different. And so it's kind of repeating the same. It just seems like it's more consistent with what's gone before. And that's all I wanted to say. Or no, you also translated, if one is not, you said that the non-being thing. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. And the other one was, that I just wanted to add thing. If you're saying, if one is not, that that the non-being thing is something of it. In this so case, that, so the that one. So would have substance, yeah. and we're not talking about non-being. Yeah. In the Balboa translation, you would be looking for something other than the others. Yeah. Right. And that's not the point he's making. It's going to be different from the others. Those are two different points. Okay. So yeah. when you use different here, there's, an, there's a perfect example of the significance of different rather than other. That too. Right. So how would that you wasn't, that, that was my original point, yeah. but I, I can yes. add that. Lovely. No. Are you pointing out that the word different gives it a kind of uniqueness? I, maybe. I don't, I wouldn't use that term. Yeah, what do you mean? Um, Look, is, is, uh, is this the same or different? That which is not are the non-being. I have the non-being. Okay. 
I would just add the non bean thing. The non bean that's, thing. That's that's kind of what I would what I, what I asked Barbara. That, that we're talking about something that is non-existent, not non bean with capital letters. He has non bean with capital letters. In the okay. would, would you agree that that statement, as it is in our text? Mm. It's a point about something is other than the others. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, it's other than the others. Mm -hmm. That means there's two groups of others. Mm -hmm. There's others and there are other than the others. Okay. Agree? Right? That is, is that the same thing as saying different from the others? And uh, that's what's so beautiful. But what what does that mean? What is that? How does that change it? Well, the the top one um, doesn't necessarily isn't necessarily different. True. And it doesn't, this presupposes a, a, a dual, right there, two classes of things, others and others and the others. Yeah. Right? And that's not the point that he's making, he's saying. Whatever it is, that's going to be different from the others. I think you can talk about the others than the others in the same terms as one another. Okay. Whereas you can't talk about those that are different from the others using the same terms. Could better, I also, better joke. could I ask, is it, would it be possible to say, is it not the case then, that now they also make it clear what they mean when they say, if one is not, that a non-being or this non-being is different from the others, meaning that's one of a class of non-beings, so to speak? The, the reason I'm saying that, if you want to know, um, is because of the prior paragraph, David pointed out that um, in the prior paragraph where he says, this is what he pointed out to me, if anything, if anyone were to say if greatness is not or smallness is not or anything else of such a kind, right? So he's got a class of possible is not, right? So then they should make it clear in each of these cases they speak of that one of them as a non-being as something different right yeah. that it's so yeah. like um, so Davis and I think I agree with that that it's not being versus non-being it's a particular non-being of something that's okay. good does that work wait a minute like that's it's good it's not non-being versus being like yeah, it's not that's the, different right right that's good. He made that yes. point. I yeah. just was that's okay. adding I, it. I, I, I mean, I was just saying, yeah. I was just adding our prior discussion in. I'll get to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Where are your cats? <coughs> and now we're going to look at what makes them different. All right. Right? Really? Thank you. The Or the non-being thing, I said. Okay. We will know. Keep on going. Should you just pass? Just. You heard sausage. You heard the word sausage. You want it? It says hot. Watch. Well, well, what you could do is use this plate here. Yeah. Just dump those off. And yeah. yeah. Or that plate. Good. Good. Good plan. Okay. Good plan, any plan like that. Is that our two cards too? And now we come to the great first distinction. Go ahead. On the one hand, when you say sure, one, on that. 
the first of all watch the cord appear. Yeah. Theo said to go ahead, so I think he's okay. On the one hand, when they say one, first Can of all, we not do that though till he gets back? Look, I think he knows what's in this passage. That's why he said read on. Read on, Macduff. Yeah. Well, then go along the period of that. Yep. I tried to read on. Yeah, but I could not. On the one hand, when they say one, first of all, do they speak of something that is knowable? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, where are you at? On uh, the next paragraph down, which is the, in Is it not the case? Uh, no, on the one hand. The next one. one. Yeah. Okay. On the one hand, when they say one, first of all, do they speak of something that is knowable? And secondly, of something different from the others, whether they add ex existence to the self or non-existence. Mm. <coughs> not so sickness, just something sweet is not good for me. Now, this is a beautiful thing to stay with, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, it goes on. Oh, for what they call non-existence will be no less recognized or known and that non-existence is different from the others, or is it not so? I, I think I'll go back to read it. It's because, mm. Mm. Tough question. Okay, so I'm going to read it one more time. On the one hand, when they say one, first of all, do they speak of something that is knowable? And second, of something different from the others, whether they add existence to the self, to self, or non-existence. For what they call non-existence will be no less known and that it is different from the others, or is it not so? Hmm. He's making two points. Mm -hmm. What they call non-existence will be no less recognized than the existence, and that non-existence is different from the others. Hmm. I get it. I was just reading it without that. Interpolation. No, interpolation. Well, non existence is by parallel instruction. That's why I left it out. Oh. Yeah, it's not the reason. Will be no less able to be known? It doesn't say that, I know. But. Well, knowable? Knowable is able to be known. If it says knowable, it says. I think the knowable. Trying to make it much more concrete than it is. It just says known. Known or knowable mm -hmm. or knowing as active. It's, it's Although it looks like it's a familiar. later use. Well, I mean, they, it's an adjective, right? A lateral form of pronotos. Oh, there it is, yeah. Close down for A on. Common knowledge. Ew, that's awful. He's kind of repeating himself. Plato's the Athenus. Sounds like. <coughs> sounds like he's just saying. He's just saying, uh, like, we can talk about it. Whether we talk about the non existent or the existent. Wouldn't you consider that it's that also way? possible that if you uh, uh, by knowable. Noble? Noble. Knowable. Knowable. Oh, I just didn't understand what you were saying. Hmm. But if you're gonna say it, it's different from something, something is different from something, you have to know about it, don't you? Mm -hmm.
don't care if it's existing or non existent, you can still know it. Yep. Yep. And that non existence is different from the others. Uh, yeah. Because the others can obviously belong in the class of existence. I have to teach you with this class of others. It's separate. I want to stay in reading for a minute. Oh, go ahead. So I just pulled out so you guys can deal with what's going on. Okay. Go for it, dude. Facing page. I noticed that. Ah. I just noticed that when you're reading. Um, oh. I need to add one more page, uh, one more blank page at the beginning of the PDF. Oh, is that right? Good. I'll wait. But you, I, it's you not gonna. It the other way. Well, think, yeah, it's yeah, nice to have. <laughs> yeah. So I'll add that in. I apologize that you ordered a book and then put it on the other side. So. I don't. I thought I double checked that problem. I'm surprised you could tell by that. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, uh, it's got the wrong, these two are not the same text. So yeah. this and this are the same text. What is that? Oh, oh this is I a tiny that. one of these big guys. Oh. Can you still order the big guys? You can still order the big guys. Yeah, but I'll get that fixed. These have a lot of space, though. But you were glass and Ah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be hard to read, but actually, with my glasses, it's not. Without my glasses, uh, a little bit. Your eyes should make the turn for you soon. How's that tea? I don't know if I have tea. Oh, oh, what's that? You know, this expression... <clears throat> which is they speak or say, they say. That's so interesting because uh, <clears throat> it's, it's like... Uh, ah. Well, it's not really they, as you know, but go ahead. Well, he's talking about other people. I don't think so. All the they so far have been mistakes. So this might be correct, but, um, and one could hope it would be a meaningful distinction like you're making. Well, because that allows, if he uses it in that sense, <clears throat> singular, um, which I'm in paragraph six, mm -hmm. and on the one hand, when they say one of these things that we're calling non-existence, Yeah, I, I totally agree. It would be lovely if it were there. It's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just wonder whether the expression "they are saying they" it's other people. I'd love to have that. The, the, we can the say that it's a mistake in the text. Yeah. But it's the text is singular. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> now wait a minute. That meant I was see. assuming a positive. Let's see. Yeah. 
So how should we translate it? Then? Oh, you're right. He, right. She, <coughs> someone. Well, he's got the teeth in there throughout. Someone. Yep. So it's teeth, which isn't much different from a they. It's just a couple of pieces. A they is just a couple of pieces. Yeah. A teeth is singular. Yeah. Yeah. So if you if if one should say, and then you get a bunch of people lined up behind them and they say the same thing, and they all say the same thing. <laughs> Each of those pieces make a they. Yeah, Only so if someone, have, someone or they, someone slash they. If you have someone and someone else and okay. someone else and an additional someone, that isn't what you have here. Except for that. that Except for that, it's a great job. You're saying that there would be no agreement. Pardon me. On this. That they're not cumulative, they don't pile up like sticks of wood. That would be my point, yes. See, because throughout this whole paragraph six, <coughs> pardon me, the they is repeated. And he's wrong every right? time. Yeah. And, and if you don't catch the difference in public, you know, singular and plural, like I did not just now, <coughs> Which I should have, but uh, hmm. certainly. Well, damn good point. Well, David and I were both looking it up. Gina brought that up originally on, and I kept trying to say they're singulars. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we suddenly have a huge population of sayers. I have no idea. Okay, now, if that's a, right, now he's going to make. He's going to make another point. Right? If we can get out of six. Yeah. Uh, okay. Accordingly, then, we must affirm or state from the beginning, and you can see that we is actually, it. one must affirm, it must be affirmed. It's a... Impersonal. Mm -hmm, and and uh, necessity. In the lecteon. Right, the teon part. According, sorry. Accordingly, then we must affirm from the beginning what, what, sorry, what must be if one is not in the following way. Thus, on the one hand, as is reasonable, this must belong to the to self. First of all, there must be knowledge of self, or else nothing which is said will be known when one says, if one is not. <clears throat> and recognize is a possible translation. Do you think we ought to allow the, the thus, in some cases, on the grounds that if they were actually to put the thus in, it would become, on inspection, same? Mm -hmm. So, we might want to see if there are some cases where the self, meaning that highest self. I don't know that this is one of them. I'm no, not making that right. argument. No, that's, but abs that's ab absolutely mm -hmm. correct. It's, it's a major, it's a major uh, meta, meta, metaphysical, psychological point. Mm -hmm. uh, see, that means that everything that preceded this was a prelude. Mm. Oh, that's true, from the beginning. Yeah. Ex our case. Right. So this is an introduction, what we've gone through, and now he's, now he's making the statement of his hypothesis. Right. You see how many musts there are in there, Pierre? There's a lot of them. Wow. And they're pretty legitimate, you know? Yeah. The we must affirm part, or mu it must be affirmed. Yeah. What yeah. must be, necessarily. Right? Yeah. Right. And this must belong to the self? You're pretty much saying must in every way you can in Greek. Mm-hmm. You've got the future passive participle, you've got cray, and you've got day. You're taking lecteon as a future passive participle? Or? Yeah, well, that's what they call it in Latin. Oh. The necessity participle. Your hmm. room will be cleaned by tomorrow. 
Because your, in your room is to be cleaned. In Greek, I, I think it's just a suffix. Okay. Well, to make a verbal adjective of necessity. All right. I think it's not described in any way. Uh, it's okay, right? I, I, I took it as a question for myself. But, well, uh, I'm, tr I'm afraid that Pierre is writing it down with enthusiasm. No. That's why I'm worried about it. Pardon me? He might not be. I don't think you're <laughs> You're okay, Pierre. No, well, okay. it would, we were just talking about the uh, forms of must, and uh, in in Latin, it's a different grammatical thing than it is in English. And it, I mean, I in Greek, the mistake of calling it the Latin. And the difference is, well, in Latin, it's a future passive participle form, uh -huh. which is the necessity. I part. Yeah. Your room is to be cleaned. Therefore, you must clean it. And that means it's going to happen real fast, and there's a necessity. But in, but in Greek, as far as I know, that's yeah. just a, a suffix that makes an adjective into a necessity. Yes. It's not a future passive participle. Right. So I was hoping you were not writing down future passive participle. No. Good. <laughs> just, no. Okay. No. Because your pencil was moving about the time the point was being made. No, no. I, it's, it's, uh, uh, what, what do you make of it before I open my mouth? Well, he's gone back to his original statement about the nature of his hypotheses. Right. That there's an identity between the one and the self. Right. First of all. But other than that, I got nothing. Oh, jeez. I have to forgive you for that, I guess. David, don't you think we should find out what Brad thinks? Always. I thought we always checked. <laughs> I have recommendation from Brad, not from me. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, um, wow, this is so I was thinking that um, that he that. He's, he's uh, like, it's possible that this is, he's talking about declension in terms of, like, making the distinction with different. Like, that's further removed, but there's still intelligibility somehow, maybe, or... It, um, but are you in the state of mind where you'd like to know what Eldar thinks? Oh, yes. Well, why don't you ask him? Eldar, I'll listen. What? What do you think of the sixth hypothesis so far? At, at this paragraph. Oh, at this paragraph. No, we don't mind if he gets help from Yanni. No. I I would like to know what Yanni thinks as well. Wow, well, yeah. good. You can't just you can't skip over Eldar. And <laughs> <laughs> We're also eager. <laughs> I'll marry you. I'm going to remember that line. Hmm. I can't, I can't skip over Eldar. No, you... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's called philosophical politeness. Yes. <laughs> He's, he's still kind of processing. Oh, then. Yawning. Yeah. 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 Um, well, <coughs> I think, I mean, I, what do I, accordingly then, difference besides knowledge is inherent to it. So that when it is said that the one is other than the other being, they will uh, not speak of the difference of the other beings, but of the otherness of the one. Um, I think it's I think it's curious if that there's otherness in the one. Um, or otherness of the one. I think it's I think it's interesting and in uh, it looks like a conclusion to the. Sorry. 
to what we've been reading up to now, but I don't really have <coughs> many thoughts on it. Would you need help? I would need help, yeah. From? from. I would be Nancy. Oh. No. <coughs> Was that something you what wrote, What did she say? Johnny? No. Like K N O W? No. I don't know. Huh? I think I'm like K N O W. Yeah. I'm still puzzling. Puzzle. Okay. Uh, are we on six or seven? If we're on seven. Uh, no. Oh, okay. We're on six. Well, oh, pardon me. We're on seven. Oh, we're on seven. That he is. Uh, that we must, if we say one is not, that we must also see that self is included and that there must be a knowledge of self. Otherwise, there won't be a knowledge so when we say one is not. So self is knowable. And I'm telling us if you have any difficulty or anything you see in, into it that's memorable that you want to add or suggest. Well, that self is knowable in this, that's interesting. If the one is not, it makes it an odd kind of. Now you're telling us what you're saying. Okay. That you didn't before. I find it odd that he's using the idea of the self. So when you when you just read it, you didn't let us know what you saw. Now that you're reflecting on it, you're oh, now see. expressing it. Right? Okay. So let me ask you this great question. All right. So what? <laughs> see, what do you do with the puzzle that you have seen? Don't dump it. That's a gift. Well, it is a puzzle. If the okay. one is not, it can be knowable. The self yeah. can be knowable. Yeah, we got all that stuff. And there's self. So. <clears throat> That's interesting. <clears throat> I like to repeat myself. If, if you got something, and it's, I'm trying to fit it in with what she said about the self, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if I can, um, that even in the absence of being, there's still something called necessity which can function. Mm -hmm. Good. And that... Uh, that necessity, I don't know how necessity would, no, I don't know, I don't know where to go with that. Yes, you're picking up the word must, must as necessity, and you're right. You know, the, what, well, what struck me so powerfully is that this point refers back to the point made about the one, in the same way as we've seen, like it says that the one must be knowable, right? Just back here. And here it's saying, Right. If if that's the case, if the one is not given the conditions we gave it, one of which is that it has to be knowable, then the self there must be knowledge of the self on the same for the same reasons. That okay. to me just amazes me. This is why this is a psychological, metaphysically, a metaphysical, psychological point. Oh, <clears throat> <clears throat> that's what I was saying. In the well, absence of anything real, action is justified. That's equally true, but I think the psychological, I mean, the, yeah. the, a state of mind would still be justified. Yes, yes. Um, sorry. I'm looking at this or else, and I'm wondering, it looks like he's also saying, if, if, See, he's making a great point. Of existence, it seems like. Whether for being. Nothing can uh, Knowledge only, knowing only is in relation to existence <coughs> being. Otherwise, nothing which is said about it will be known. That, that will be in the real... You can't talk about... You can't... 
Okay. Whatever is said in the realm, referring to the realm of. <clears throat> if you can, and this is why the Gigno root is so important that anything that can know in this way presupposes the existence of the self. Hmm. Therefore, the sixth hypothesis is only open to those people who have a self and who can grasp the one using both notions together. Hmm. That's a necessity, right? That's a must, must, mm -hmm. must. You must have a self that can do this kind of recognizing because it's a different kind of recognizing. Dogs and cats won't be able to do it. It presupposes you've got to have a, and be aware of. Self. Right, and one. And that one. <clears throat> uh -huh. Has something different, or see, he's not making a statement about the self in the second in the sixth hypothesis. He's saying the conditions for understanding the sixth is you better have the capability of the knowing, knowing in the that self. way. Yeah, and the one, and mm -hmm. the one. <clears throat> so those people who might be sixthers may still not understand the six? Is that an implication? Because they would have to come at it from a state of knowing self and one. Well, I, I, would, put I, it, it? I would put it another way. If someone was holding to the sixth hypothesis, they would be denying the second. And we would have to show them, by the way, for you to assume the six, that means you're assuming the existence of things that are not. You can't do that unless you had a self. Hmm. Wow, that is interesting. Because there's a certain kind of knowing which is so connected with the self that you couldn't do it without it, hmm. without having a self. Therefore, the gnowing, the gnosing, the gnowing. <laughs> right, right, the gnosing is central to the self. Then they would, by necessity, have to see the second. Right. They should be an easy... Right. There should be a dialectic that should show them. Now, if you want to hold your position as carefully as you're doing, then you must think that has no being. Mm. By the way, that means you must know what non-being is. <laughs> mm -hmm. How interesting. Why, you're a virtual metaphysician. You can talk about non-being and being, can't you? <laughs> is that what you just denied, being? Yeah. He gets cornered, yeah. 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 Yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, he's cornered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he should go. He should go. Wow, yeah. you're right. We hope, right? Unless he's unless he's some charlatan. Should yeah. we? Yeah. So it's not just the presence of self, but the actual recognition and denial of self. That kind of knowing. Okay. That kind of knowing. Right. It's this kind of gnosing. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's, I think it's good that the Bob is recognized slash known. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Not knowing. Right. It shows the two aspects. Yeah. Hmm. Of the word. And let me let me push that idea uh, you, now that you understand the necessity for the self. Hmm. That paragraph he pushes it again. Okay. On a higher level, right? Hey, let me point it out to you. That go ahead. Is it is this not also the case then that the others must be different from the self, or else the others would not then be said to be different 
from that. See? That's a higher... See, he's pushing the metaphysics of that. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yes, he's... If, right, if this is not also the case, <laughs> I've got something to tell you, kid. <laughs> Accordingly, then, difference in kind besides knowledge is present in the in in the self. So that when it is said that the one is different than the others, they will not speak of the difference in kind of the others, but of the difference of that. Mm. Okay, no. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, he's reading yeah. parallel structure. Yeah. Yeah. Of so he's taking the tain back to yeah. heteroi teta. Quite the true. Substantive. Okay. So he's. Yeah. So then you see eight and nine go together. Yes, but that's very interesting. Difference in kind is for the self to the self in relation to self. He's reading it as in. She is present in the self. For is the, is in self. For the self, to the self, in respect to the self, in relation to the self, for the benefit of the self. Mm -hmm. What else do you do with that? Dated, Jave? Um, in this, in this I, which I'm, I'm trying to get caught up here. It's in nine. Kind of slow. We're talking, that's okay. Here, You're what doing I good things. In this is that he doesn't say the self at any time here. It's always referring to self, not the self. We we just had that discussion. That that if we put the in front of it, we would be at risk of always having to transfer it as the same. And so it may have been a conscious decision. Barbara pointed that out earlier. If we put the in front of out of, we're always going to end up with the same, because that's what means. So, right. so, so Parmenides right. is not putting the in front of it. Purposely so to, to, avoid, to avoid the same. That's our assumption as of oh, today. I yeah, well, and that we have to look at the context, therefore, yeah. right? Yeah. <clears throat> at the level of the discord. But we, so he doesn't, so it, it's not a, a kind of a self Hmm. How do you understand that, Pierre? Are you, do you have an understanding to add to that? I mean, usually you do, but that difference in kind, which is a simple word for difference, but probably that's okay, is present. Well, he's made apart from what you're saying. Mm. Would you? I stay with the word difference. Mm -hmm. Like he's stressing the idea of difference in eight and nine mm -hmm. and. and especially in nine, mm -hmm. right? So the difference is a major, major mm -hmm. issue. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and uh, 80, in eight, he's trying to go further to express the notion of the self that he's already established. Um, hmm. And the others must be different uh, of, of self or f from self. Um, he's, he's stressing that the self is different from the others, not that the others are different from the self. Yes. And that that would be the conclusion that we're talking about others, although the self is different, not we're talking about the self and the others are different. Yeah. Well, you, Something like that. Yeah. No, that's cool, but... The must be different from the self is not there? Well, no. I think the conclusion is that, that this person would hold that the self is different from the others. Right. He's stressing that the difference is in the self, yeah. rather than in the other. From the, yeah. yeah, looking towards the self, there's a difference, rather than 
looking, looking from the cell, to, the cell. Uh, to the other. So yeah. Well, you so know, one of the points that, that Plato often tries to make is if you're using the word difference, which one has it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's kind of here. <laughs> like we, we seldom make that distinction. Yeah, I'm not saying what I said is true, but that's the problem. Yeah, which yeah. Will, which different? What, yeah. Which is, is it the self different, or is the others different from the self? Yeah. Are those do do we mean different things by those two points? And does it make if it, does it make a difference here that what he's talking about is wanting to separate off the self as in a realm different, so that then from he can the, talk about the others. Yeah, different from the others. And so that then he can give more significance to the others. Right. Well, equally, or, yeah, or equally, if he's making a distinction. But, well, he's making a distinction on both sides. Yeah, okay. Let's, I'll see where it goes. And this is, it's always new to, when we go through a hypothesis, it's always Yeah, new. yeah. Yeah, like this is an astonishing one, the use of the word self. The self has a kind of knowing. Hmm. And it's about knowing of something that is not. Mm -hmm. In order to be able to do that, you have to assume you have a self to be able to do that, because that kind of knowing is only possible for that which has selves. That's, or can grasp that's very one. much Timaeus, though, right? Pardon me? That's very much the knowing of the two possible modes of knowing of the Timaeus, right? Oh. Because there's knowing of that which by the circle of the same, or oh, self, yes. and yes. there's knowing by yeah. the circle, you know, that when it encounters something that is not of that, of the circle of the self, then it concludes something with true opinion, mm -hmm. but it can con conclude <clears throat> about the lower, right? right? right. That's not quite sometimes precise, we, but... Sometimes we make that distinction when we say, uh, that person always has knowledge of others, other things hmm. than themselves. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I or used to they have in that their knowledge is always about about mm. things. Yeah. They, yeah, they score big on Jeopardy. Right, but that they don't have much knowledge into themselves. But no. all the knowledge they have is about other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, what about you? Huh? <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. It's well, not my vocabulary. Well, 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 what? Well, what is it that's doing the knowing? What, what you, shut up. What yeah, yeah. Look, I know all about baseball, football, uh, stock market. These are the things I know. What are you asking me about the self for? You can't know the self. You, the fucking question you're asking. You're getting me, you're getting me, you're getting me upset. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because I'm king of this hill of knowledge. Yeah. And now you're... Oh. Yeah. I'm a master of about. It's like he's used to a certain kind of... Look at this thing. Does it appear that way? Yeah. Ah, this, look at him. See this? He's now no longer shivering. And, and this the is the <laughs> genitive that should result from from to say that the different that oh sorry that that thing is different from the others. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's he's got the wrong subject. Um. That thing is a different thing, or different, mm -hmm. to speak, because this, this verb to speak takes this accusative as its subject, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, right, you, you, the, and that's exactly the point we've been this, trying to make. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, I just thought you might... That is interesting, yeah. I wanted to, no, you want to make that point then? Because it no, fits in with no, what you've no, just said. No, good. It just... Where? Yeah, good. Um, Barbara pointed out, and... Paragraph and, 8, Parmenides 8. And you kind of... Yeah, um, it, the point I was making was that from the second, from the view of the sixth hypothesis, the self is different from the others, not that the others are different from the self, and that's exactly what the Greek says. That, that I, I'm not so sure. Uh, okay. Uh, well, Barbara, Barbara can probably explain it better. Well, do you but see the it point says is made in the Greek that I was trying to make an English. Yeah. Well, you see, that is this not also the case then that the others must be different from the self? That's fine. The Greek is fine. But the next part, it says, or else, the actual subject there is the that at the end, right? Or else that would not be said to be different from the others. Now, I don't know how that really catches up. 
or is not to be said, cannot be said, might be better. Can so it be? It, what I'm trying to say is that the that is the subject. That would not is not said to be different from the others. So you don't put the difference on the side of the self. You put the difference on the side of the others very clearly in that sentence. Is that clear? What's happening? Yeah, or else, you know, or else this is the consequence yeah. if, you, if you reject it. Or else you'd have to consider it this way. Well, the else is which, purely Which is wants. that the other alternative between the two, right, the two being, of course, if the self is different from others or the others are different from themselves, uh-huh. right? Those mm -hmm. two possibilities, if you, if you don't go for the, what I'm talking about, then you have to deal with or mm -hmm. else. Right, but it is negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the difference of the others from the self is that the others can be said to be different from it. Mm. Well, no, it's a negative case. It depends upon how you how you understand or else. Well, there, the else isn't there, so that's yeah. one way I understand it. I take out the else. <laughs> or, or, yeah, or another, or maybe it's another way of saying it. Is this not the case then? The others must be different from the self. Or, or else. So, you like, does or, um, that does or imply or else? Oh, well, sometimes it does. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it does. Sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes not. Um, or, what would it be? Or so that say, not would not be said to be others. Would that, wouldn't, that would not be said to be different from that would others. Have, yeah, excuse me. That would be said but to be that, different. That sounds like what you're saying, Barbara, is that when you say it that way, it sounds like it's uh, mirroring it, like it's saying... Uh, is it not also the case then that the others must be different from the self or that would not be said to be different from the others yeah. like if you don't agree with this then mm -hmm. you can't say this yes right and the you can't say there is any, you can't say the self is different from the others unless you say the others are different mm -hmm. you can't put it on the side of the self that, is the way I'm taking that. That works nicely with the next paragraph because then it, it kind of flows into that <coughs> accordingly then. Then he talks about the difference being in... Oh, I don't know. The, yes, I... The one. Is it not the case the others must be different from the self? Or else that dif that would that difference that thing it could also just be, or else that thing could not be said to be different from that. the others. Or that thing could not be said to be different from the others. Wh whatever the that is refers to. Yeah. Or we, that we, difference. We presume that might be others. Well, it's oh. singular. The see, I think it's confusing that one put the others at the beginning of that sentence. Yeah, I agree. Okay. What, yeah. else, what else do we have as a possibility here? See, um, <coughs> see, we're going to get the same problem in nine, right? Well, this is interesting. Right. They each go together, one, two, and three, which is really seven, eight, and nine. Because these are his three points about the self. You know, the Thomas Taylor says, must not this also happen, that either other things must be different from it, or it must be said to be different from others. That's good. Yeah, I think that's very good. Very straightforward. Sure. It said, must not this also happen, that either other things must be different from it, or that it must be said to be, or that it must be said to be different from others. 
right? So that's putting out a choice, yeah. straightforwardly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what? Uh, but it says not. Right. So. So what? Like, hmm. what's at stake? Which way difference goes? Okay, what are the two possibilities? Come on, look. Uh, hmm. well, uh, the self is different from the others. The uh, others are different from the self. Wow, so the what? Is what follows if there is a difference between the two? Hmm. Well, wouldn't one have to be superior? Which one? It, it seems like and it, why? Hmm. The self is different than the others, I think. Sorry, I'm so what? Well, if it was, if, if the others were different than the self, wouldn't it be giving, it, 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 it gives it a, high, a higher position, which one has it, right? Why? I agree, you know, I like what you're saying, but I would like to know why. I don't know. Well, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Just know. ask Eldar. No. <laughs> Is he saying that all those things that can be attributed to the self aren't as important as what we can attribute to what 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 is different from the self? That's very good. But go back to what's the difference between the two. Well, because the one is not. And so, whatever you want to say has to, in some way, bypass the one and still be meaningful. That's correct, but I don't know whether it's clear enough. Oh, oh. No, I'm, I'm, I'm irritated, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I have to go get an ultrasound, and I had an epidural last week, but nobody must assume that therefore I'm pregnant. <laughs> but um, uh, I will, uh, I will let you know whether it's a, a clot or not. Okay. Oh, good. Clot? Ouch. Pierre, can it be it. that? Let us know. Hurts, so we're gonna go look at it. The power of self is what creates difference. Thanks, folks. Thanks, Nina. Thank you. So what? Well, it, it, so what? No. It rests on where the difference is coming from. It so does, what? Well, if the self is, that is making the difference. So what? Oh, so what? No. Yeah, so what's the difference? You're just picking one and you're praising it over the other. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Well, so, um, would you agree we should get some people to work done? Yeah, you and I should. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what would follow if you were to ask, assign the task of getting someone to explore this or that? Okay, you give it, give the assignment. Okay. Then we can sit back and see what difference it would make as they do their studies and report yeah. to us. Uh, you, you agree? Oh, then he can be one of them. All right. One is going to be the standard from which you're going to. Articulate mm. the differences. Nice. So what? Uh, well, one you're going to be. Mm. You're going to be. Yeah. Okay. I'll go on. Mm. Does that make one more real than the other? If self uh, is the see, standard. There are four things here. So. Uh, if self is the standard okay. and it is different from the others, then is that saying? It seems. Then that's saying that self will be. Uh, 
like this the real standard for difference not others and okay. that doesn't that say that it's higher or more real okay so if you wanted to study with someone who was familiar with both of these possibilities uh, who would you rather study with the person who's the uh, knowledgeable about A or B and why? Hmm, good question. A. Yeah, now we want to know why he wanted to choose A. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. I go for B. Okay. Because I know that the because you would have he would have to have knowledge of what why it's different. Like what, what? That wasn't helpful. No. <laughs> right, that wasn't helpful. No, we can no. Tell him all, no matter what he says after that, it won't make any difference. Yeah. yeah. I'd say B because it would be easier. <laughs> now is that a good reason? <laughs> is that a no. good reason? It's a reason. It's a reason. Be careful about this. It's okay. Okay. If you know the. Oh, so it's easier. Hey, is, is that why he should study with one over the other? It's easier because if you know the self, then it'll be easy to see all the things that are not the self. So you can. You okay. Done. I don't know really. I think I... Who would you want to study with and why? B. Because that will give you what? Knowledge of the self by which you can judge what nope. is. That's not there. That's what I'd say. No, no. If you master 2, B, all right? <laughs> Would you be interested in the self or in the others? Would you where would where would you want to study that difference? Which one? When you say it that way, hey. Why? What did you just say? That um, where would you want to study the difference? Yes. And well, therefore you would suddenly jump from B to A. Because yes. we want to be in the self studying. Right. Yes. Not in the other. Right. So, so, yep. others rather than others. so that's a big difference, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. And that's the point he always makes. That there's mm. a difference. But see, you won't, it's difficult to say that if you put the word other. No, it's just other. Well, yeah. Are you making a point about perspective? I don't know. She made it. I was just listening. Yes. See? Now you can ask her to explain, not me. You'd have to ask her. In what way? Um, from the view of the self. You are in the self. In the self, you would. That would be different. And, and looking and seeing what was other. That would be different than in the other viewing the self. Yeah. So if, if you want if you went to a lecture and you wanted to hear about others, would that interest you no. as much as what? Rather than the self? Yeah. Well, oh. if you wanted to hear about others you'd go to lecture B. Right. And if you wanted to hear about self, you'd go to lecture A. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. And at least so and that would put you on in what a. is the difference, yeah, go ahead. And the self, self if you look at A, self is different from others. If you're looking from the perspective of a self and you see difference that oneself is different from others, then it would raise the question, what is self? Rather, and also what is others, but what is self that's different? Okay, okay. 
uh, put it another way, you could say, then you would line up all the ways in which the self is different from the others. You would all your attention would be in understanding the self <laughs> as primary, mm -hmm. the help of the others, mm -hmm. since it's different from it. Mm -hmm. So he. When he uses a different, it's always with that sense, which one has the difference they want to know, because that means which one are you going to study? Like, like you ever wonder, say, uh, is, can you pick out two things for me? Sure. Wow, that's Go ahead. so interesting. This and this. Uh, uh, which one do you want to talk about? Let's talk about this one if we're going to talk oh, about Oh, then do you want to use the other one and make distinctions with it? No. Oh, why? Because you're you seeing them as different, is that right? Yeah, you want, you want knowledge of this one, right? And therefore you want to know all the ways it's different. Than this. Right. To hell with this, right? Or this is out. Yeah, Who but cares? of all... Anything, anything you say about it, anything you say about that, ain't going to be assigned to this. Right. Different. <laughs> hmm. Do we need the other one? Nope. We don't care about that. Anything we say about that other thing, we, that's. Curious, That's why I have and, no curious, and <laughs> it's, curi it's curious, yeah, and yeah. it's curious and interesting, but who the hell cares? Yeah. Hmm. I want to know in what way uh, Trump is different than Hillary. Now, don't tell me anything about Hillary to make a contrast. Yeah. You, uh, that's fascinating. I don't know what that's going to mean for the group, though. Uh -huh. The unity. Is it staying out in its defiance? Okay. All right, we quit. What do you think? Yeah, well, that would be good because then we could go and I could look at that eight and nine and well, everybody else could as well. Yeah, and you see, he he Ten. does pick up uh, all in all uh, six points about the self, which we're getting to, and then he adds two later. So it's worthwhile breaking do you think, here. Do you think that? Can I ask? No. I know we just called it off, but um, accordingly, then difference besides <laughs> knowledge is present to the self? Yeah, or see. Or for the self? See, or because see, absolutely right. It's just a question here. Okay, I can work on it too as a question. See, this is where the, those little particles are so interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, articles. Yeah, or prepositions. Pre pardon me. Yeah, or the lack thereby thereof. Yeah. So essentially, we're going back to, to discover how we can be justified uh, in exploring the idea of the self and how it is different from the others and the significance mm -hmm. of it in the sixth hypothesis, right? If you had something like the self and the self-image. Yeah, you see, if someone rejects the idea of the self, Right? Okay. That's the assumption here. Uh -huh. Then he's going to tell you what you're losing. Ah, which would be self-image. Right. Which is really hmm. pretty damn interesting. Pretty damn interesting. Yeah. So, 
would that make it that you're saying that then when he talks about self here, it's a self image? Is that Barbara added the word image. No, I was asking, I was looking at it as a contrast with, I wasn't, I was saying that, well, I was looking at the idea of difference and self, and I was saying to myself, I don't see any difference. So I was wondering if, well, I mean, there is a difference, but I was wondering if as you understand your self-image as untrue, it drops. <laughs> and therefore, is that an example of a difference to the self, with this respect to the self? So that's what I was working on when I asked that question. She sneaked in the path of logos. I did. Right. I did, yes. And it was sneaked in earlier, but with self-image, but I was trying to sidestep it. Sorry. And I sneaked it in, too, or I put it in, because I've been puzzled why he's not using the article, the self, anywhere in this, in this proposition, hypothesis. Yeah. And we talked about the fact that it, he, want, he may want to distinguish the same from self. But I, I was thinking that it may, it, it may represent, the, uh, it, he talks about it as a knowable self, but not knowable in itself, but knowable with respect to others, which is different than self. So, anyway, well, you started that. with using the word the self as important to your understanding, right? From what you just said. Right, I said he's not using the self. Yeah, I said that seems to be the Right. You're using the well, Right. Yeah. He's eliminating the article. Well, he's using the word the self as important. But see, the point that David was making to you is that if you sneak in the article in Greek, it's no longer self. Uh, well, that's not how we always have been translated. Yes, yes, it has been. If, you put, if an article is preceding the Greek word for self, you can't use the word self. Well, then... We Grammatically can't. speaking, he was making that great point of... That he was repeating for me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but I think Gina's right, is we haven't always uh, gone with the with that translation of the same. We haven't always done that's that. That's right, that's but right. But we're looking at that now. Now we're looking at yeah. it. Yeah, and, that's right. And I was looking at that Gina, passage, thank, you. thank you, and seeing how noble that the self seemed to be very self, very the self. And then I, but I had taken out all the thes on the grounds that they weren't there. So I said to myself, maybe that's because they have to use it without an article, especially in a paragraph that includes the idea of difference. They have to use it without the article, or they would be looking at something as the same and different. Okay. Right? Yeah. But that isn't the point I made earlier. I just said earlier that I, it looked to me like the self, and therefore when I realized that they couldn't put that in there without it looking to a Greek person like the same, that's when I said yeah. maybe yeah. we should right. do something different. Well said.